Let's take a look at the SOAP Web Services features in XML Spy. XML Spy provides complete SOAP functionality, including a universal SOAP client for interpreting WSDL documents to automatically create and send SOAP requests, plus a powerful SOAP debugger. Let's walk through an example to see how the SOAP client and debugger facilitate working with and testing web services. First, let's open the time service WSDL file, which is a complete WSDL with several operations. Altova has fully deployed this web service to allow customers to experiment with the web service features of XML Spy. We can use the XML Spy SOAP client to create a SOAP request and send it to the web service based on the criteria defined in the time service WSDL file. From the SOAP menu, we select Create New SOAP Request. In the dialog box that opens, we can select Window to choose the WSDL file we just opened, then confirm by clicking OK. The SOAP client presents us with a list of the operations defined in our WSDL file. Let's select Get Server Time to create a SOAP request for that operation. XML Spy automatically creates the SOAP request and displays it in text view. You can switch over to grid view as well if you prefer to view the SOAP request in tabular form. Now we can actually send this SOAP request to the web service. From the SOAP menu, we select Send Request to Server. XML Spy then sends our request to the server that hosts the time service web service and displays the response document in text view. As you can see, the value of the get server time operation is 9.55 a.m., which was the correct time when we recorded this demo. Using the XML Spy SOAP client, we have quickly created and tested a SOAP message based on our existing WSDL file without having to write any SOAP code by hand. This feature is very useful for testing your own web services implementations, and it's invaluable for interpreting WSDL documents when you need to create a web services client based on someone else's WSDL definition. Okay, let's test our web service some more using the XML Spy SOAP debugger. The SOAP debugger acts as a web services proxy between a web services client and server. As a proxy, it allows us to intercept and inspect the SOAP request and response messages that are sent between the client and server. As part of the time service web service, Altova has included a web services client, which can be displayed in XML Spy's browser view. We can view this client by opening the debugger client htm file from the XML Spy examples directory. As you can see, this web service client uses the get time zone time operation in the time service web service. It automatically queries the web service server every five seconds to request the current time for the selected time zone. Let's take a moment to test the web service. If I click the radio button next to Pacific Standard Time, then wait five seconds, the client displays the correct time for that zone. However, if we try the same for Greenwich Mean Time, we get an error reading unknown time zone. Now we can use the SOAP debugger to determine why this error is occurring. From the SOAP menu, we select SOAP Debugger Session and open the Time Service WSDL file. Now XML Spy prompts us to enter the source and target ports. The source port 8080 is the default setting, and XML Spy automatically enters the target settings based on information in the WSDL file, so we can click OK to confirm. The SOAP debugger displays two panes, one for the SOAP request messages and one for the response messages. Since we also have our web services client running, we can add this pane to the display by resizing the windows. Below the message panes are two breakpoint tabs. These allow us to halt the debugger when a particular function or condition is triggered. Since our client uses the get time zone time operation, Let's set breakpoints on both the request and response messages so we can see exactly what data is being sent between the client and server. First, let's test the request and response messages for Eastern Standard Time. We click the Go icon on the SOAP Debugger toolbar to view the SOAP request message being sent by the client. Then, when we click over to the client to turn on debugging mode, we can see that the request SOAP message is displayed in the SOAP request pane. As you can see, the value of the time zone element being requested by the client is EST. Next, we can click the Single Step button to send this request to the web service server. The correct time in the EST time zone is displayed. 
To send this request back to the client, we hit single step again. You can see that the time service client is now displaying the same time returned by the SOAP response message. The SOAP debugger has just allowed us to single step through this transaction and inspect the request and response messages to see that both messages are configured properly. Now let's try the same process for Greenwich Mean Time. This time when we click Go, you can see that the time zone parameter being passed to the server is GMD instead of GMT. So when we click single step to see the response message from the server, the get time zone result reads unknown time zone. We can single step again to send this response to the client and the same error message appears. Now that we've determined that the problem is in the SOAP request message, we can change the time zone request value to GMT and test the response again. This time, when we single step, we can see that the correct time is returned by the server response and the correct time is delivered to the client. The XML Spy SOAP debugger has allowed us to inspect the request and response messages sent between our web services client and server to debug a message that was returning an error. Though we set breakpoints based on functional values in this example, you can also set conditional breakpoints based on XPath values to stop the debugger when a particular value is returned in a request or response message. For instance, if a SOAP request causes an error, the response message will contain a fault code element. So we can set a breakpoint to trigger whenever a fault code element appears. This will allow us to test the service for any errors. With the power to create, test, and debug SOAP messages, the SOAP client and debugger make XML Spy an invaluable tool for creating and perfecting web services in a quick, user-friendly manner.